finally, okay. So, it is another day off for me, and we're going to be doing another DIY. I told you guys in the last DIY video that I will post up here in the atmosphere. Click on the eye when I was um, rehabbing our um, couch cushions, not couch cushions, but the pillows <laughs> uh, with those Dollar Tree uh, pillowcases and pillow covers that I was trying to like redo our living room. So also in another vlog, which I will post up here in the atmosphere so, so y'all can get caught up. Okay, click the eyes so y'all can get caught up. Um, I had went to the Goodwill and bought a new armchair recliner situation. I don't know. Y'all will see. Um, but I want to paint it because I don't like the color that it is. And it has like some stains on it that I just, like they're not suspicious stains. They're not suspect. They're just like some stains that even though I did like scrub the chair when I got it and wipe it down, the stains didn't go out. So I'm just going to paint it. Just paint right on over the problem. So I got some chalk paint and I got some fabric softener, which seems to be the thing from all of my extensive YouTube research on how to paint your furniture. Those are what you need in order to get the texture that I wanna get. Cause they say that when you add the fabric softener to the chalk paint, it turns the paint into almost like a faux leather, like pleather type situation. And I don't know, that seems really easy and wipeable the way my family is set up, I need wipeable surfaces. All surfaces need to be able to be wiped down and clean because just the way we're set up. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me show you guys my supplies before we head on outside into the sun. It's a perfect day for it. It's supposed to be a 90 degree day, no rain in sight. So I've already taken the chair outside, which was a struggle. I'm definitely gonna wait until Thomas comes home Maybe tomorrow, give the chair time to dry. Tomorrow, to bring that bad boy in because he's going to have to like walk it around through the front door because getting it out the back door, it was a struggle. But <laughs> it's neither here nor there. Let me show you guys the supplies before, so before we get started. All right, so here we have just a container. I got some potato salad from my job. But save the container. So this is what I'm going to be pouring the paint in. Here it is. Um, the color is nautical, which is kind of like this, not a dusty navy blue, but it's a, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not like a bright and brilliant navy blue. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's navy blue. Um, um, I also, and I got these off of Walmart's website because I had a gift card and I was just like, I just need to get this paint. So I might as well see if, what Walmart has to offer. And they also had these brushes from Waverly. So these are the ones that they say that you use for the chalk paint. And then this brush is what you use for the wax top coat, which I don't have a wax top coat. So I don't know what we're going to do with that brush. Um, and then just a spoon that I don't care about because it no longer matches the new set of silverware that we have. So it's getting used for this. And then I went to good old Dollar Tree once again. And got some fabric softener and the tip that everyone kept giving was use a scent of fabric softener that like you can live with because it's gonna make the paint smell like whatever your fabric softener is scented like and then your chair is gonna smell like whatever scent your fabric softener is scented like and act sort of like an air freshener for your house which I'm totally okay with so I just went with this things like lavender yeah there it is soothing lavender and it does smell very good. And normally, I am not a floral lavender fan at all. But at the time, given all of the scents that Dollar Tree had to offer, this was the greatest of all the evils. So, well, the lesser of all the evils. There we go. If it was the greater, it would have been horrible. But, yeah. <laughs> this one, I, I like this one. Of all of them, I like this one the most. It's not too strong, but you can still smell it. And it is quite soothing. So, they weren't lying. So yeah, I'm just going to pour some of this chalk paint into this container and then add about two tablespoons of the fabric softener, stir it all up, get it incorporated. And then I do have a spray bottle outside full of, um, I did it like half and half. So I poured some of the fabric softener into the spray bottle along with some water 
shake it up. So as I'm um, getting ready to paint the chair, I will be spraying it down first to wet the fabric. You're supposed to do that first, wet the fabric and then paint. So yeah. Yeah, let me get started and start pouring stuff. And I love the legs go. So 
one day. First thing is success. Now I'm going to spray down the arm of the chair with the fabric wet. And then we'll start painting. I guess I'll recline it in or not. I don't know. We'll close that boat when we come to it. section first and then paint on top of it and you guys can see it's like streaky it looks like I need to go over it again like it's patchy the paint does not glide as easy as it does as when you go section by section and thoroughly spray it down before you paint so just a tip oh, and up again a little fun fact and all these little fluff things have got to go you show me how to get love as soon as I started so painting, they're just like all in the wind, attaching to everything. So, let me keep going so I can finish this first coat. I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face. I never knew you could love someone like me. You climb my tower and you. Set me free I Place to hide, ain't no one to run to 
Here we go, here we go again Call my bluff, I'ma be here till the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you don't wanna change Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to If you don't wanna change I can't help you This is what one bottle, eight ounce bottle of the Waverly, no, not Waverly, this is it's a different brand of chocolate, I'll have to look it up, but this is what one eight ounce bottle was able to cover, the whole front section, uh, we didn't do that side. This whole side, which... This sign is killing me because this side, I thought I had covered the whole thing, but it's definitely not. So. Yeah. Um, it is 11.51 right now, so I'm going to stop here. I do have the other bottle in the house, so that should get me the other side, and then these little portions here, and then the back, and then part of a second coat, and then I'm going to run to Walmart and get the blue chalk paint by another brand that I saw there to finish the chair off. Whew, and oh my gosh, it is so hot. But yeah, this is where we are so far. It's real spotty. It's progress. Okay, so, just got back from Walmart. Um, this is the color that I picked up that they have. It is Rustolium. Um, ultra matte chalk paint in coastal blue which is more of like a grayish blue come on focus 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 so it's like a grayish blue which is fine because this blue is the deeper like navy blue more so like there really isn't much gray in it so I decided since this was the second bottle that I had we used the entire first one so I took half of this bottle and some of this can which cost me like sixteen dollars like 47 cents you know how Walmart has weird prices so that's how much that cost and then for both jars of this brand of chalk paint I believe I only paid like $11 so I mean I would have loved to have a can this size of this particular blue color but hey I wanted to get this project done and I didn't feel like hunting this particular brand of chalk paint oh it's by folk art so I didn't intend on hunting it down and again I had the Walmart gift card and I needed to use it so um I mixed the two and this is the blue that it came out I can definitely see that the folk art paint is like taken over which I don't mind at least it'll be more cohesive with the chair and we're only doing like the, we still have the back of the chair and the side to do. So, if it's not like spot on color match, I don't really mind. Because again, we still have to put a second coat on the chair. So, it should all even out some kind of way. Okay, so the top first coat is completely done.
overnight and I had put like just on like some not faded spots but spots where I didn't feel like I covered it enough I did add like a touch up of paint but I think I added too much water because it's like a lighter shade than the rest of the chair and there's like a spot down there too where I did a touch up that touched up the legs with the gold and I got some of the fabric so I painted over it um but I could add another coat to it I don't think I'm going to I'm just going to add I'm just going to add this the rest oleum matte clear top coat and call it a day and just be done with this project get the most out of this As promised, I said the next time you saw the chair, it would be in the house, and here it is. I took two of the cushions from our futon and just threw it on there. Looks so cute. I love the blue. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit darker. Like, I wish it was a tad bit of a darker navy blue. But still, the color that it did turn out to be, I am not mad at it at all. Um, I have sat on it. Kids have sat on it. Husband has sat on it. It hasn't rubbed off or transferred onto anybody's clothing, which is a plus. Love it so much. And I don't know if you guys can tell it. We'll get a little closer. It is not the faux pleather texture that I was hoping that it was going to turn into that I've seen like in the, again, my extensive YouTube research that it turned into for other people, like with the adding the fabric softener to the paint. So maybe it was just the amount of fabric softener that I used or the particular brands of chalk paint that I use, but it is not pleather. Like, it is not that kind of wipeable texture that I was striving for. But I'm not complaining. I am not mad at all. It's still dark enough to where if it gets a stain on it, which it probably will, just knowing my family, I wouldn't be too mad at it. It's not that hard to hide. And, yeah, there she is. My wonderful chair in all its glory. All right. But thank you guys so much. So much for watching and yes hairdo is different this was a labor of love it took several days to do this so thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you like comment share subscribe if this is your thing i mean join the family it's free like it's the best part free all right and i'll see you guys in the next one bye